Hi there everyone and good morning. Currently about 10.30 in the morning Japan Standard Time. That's about 9.30 Philippine Standard Time and about 0.130 uh, Zulu for those of you who are worldwide watching this update today on the 26th of September 2011 and out here in the Western Pacific today we have several areas we continue to watch. First and foremost we do have Typhoon Nessat but we also have a very weak tropical system moving on shore over Vietnam. Not really much expected from that outside of heavy rain showers across that country in the next 24 hours and also a little found frontal boundary that's moving over Japan today that's producing some areas of cloudiness and precipitation up and down the country and as we all know with the recent typhoons that hit Japan and any more rain is not welcomed at the very least yet today just seeing kind of a steady misty rain outside of my window actually but down towards the Philippines we have a typhoon in Nessa. Now Nessa is on a west northwest northwest course starting getting more consolidated today as a little eye is starting to develop near the center of this but also noting that the winds are currently about 70 gusting up to 100 knots so not as intense as originally thought yet it's still expected to see some rapid intensification as it moves over the high sea surface temperatures out here actually if we look at the sea surface temperatures you can see these upwards of 30 degrees and even 29 right near the coast but 30 degrees Celsius which is very warm and allowing a lot of this heat and the moisture to move into the center of the system and allow for that rapid intensification also I do want to note a lot of very high cloud tops in and around the center of the circulation out here but also already overland a lot of heavy precipitation being reported in these very heavy thick bandings out here uh, could bring some severe thunderstorms as well but that heavy precipitation already occurring over much of Luzon and this is actually a radar image from Subic Bay this earlier this morning showing some of this precipitation already moving on shore it only looks out about 100 kilometers here so I do want to note that there is banding up here towards the north as well and should be shown on radar but not complete coverage here but just showing this banding coming on shore and then also noting from Quezon all the way down here towards the south well south of Manila you're seeing that heavy precipitation already and already throughout the day today signal force 1 and 2 has been posted up and down the coastal region with signal 1 from Isabella all the way down towards Camaras Sur so I uh, just want to mention that as well and what Pagasa is saying is that 10 to 20 millimeters of an hour and up towards 50 millimeters of an hour right in the eastern portion of these mountains is very possible with these outer rain bands but this satellite imagery for the visible satellite imagery here taking about the same time as that radar shot showing that heavy banding moving on shore but also I do want to strongly note here with this is that you have a lot of this banding coming in from the south feeding warm moisture into this and allowing for further intensification so we're going to continue to watch this storm as it tracks off towards the west but also I do want to mention that eye is still forming with this and this is the microwave imagery down here and it kind of gazes through those higher cloud tops as shown on the infrared here you kind of really can't see too well but the microwave shows those higher cloud tops down here and it gazes through that cirrus so a lot of this cumulus starting to wrap around that center of circulation and that is what's going to give you that eye wall and that landfall this is where the highest winds are going to be but that is a look at what the storm is doing right now, how it is developing. Now here is a look at where the track is going to take it. Well, looking at the overall background flow, we still have a westerly course here, and in the long range, it looks like Hong Kong is really going to be spared here. Looks like more of a landfall around Hainan here, and then eventually off in towards Vietnam, where they don't need any more rainfall, period. But it looks like the system is likely going to take that track following Tropical Storm Hating out here. But also, I do want to mention, see this little dip down here towards the south, and it comes back up towards the north well that may very possibly allow the system to go a little bit far farther south than Casagoran as originally stated I do think that a landfall likely is going to be around Belair instead of a little bit farther towards the south uh, north of the Polio Islands as well but still going to be a little bit southerly landfall and that is going to bring heavier precipitation and higher winds to the Manila metropolitan area and just noting this is a model consensus GFS actually even pulls it farther south than Belair here and running it across Central Luzon before running off towards the northwest uh, JTWC's track on this actually kind of keeps it right in the middle of this model consensus that's what's indicated here in black but noting uh, both of them are all keeping it farther towards the south now so I do want to mention that as well is that these outer rain bands and some of these tropical storm strength winds could affect the Manila area 
area, but I think the rain is going to be a definite uh, problematic uh, situation out here. As much of the region is already this season seeing a lot of rainfall due to the southwest monsoon, but also poor drainage areas here in the Manila metro area will definitely cause for localized urban flooding across that region as these rain bands move on shore. Not to mention just that, but also these heavier rain bands, as I already noted earlier, are going to have some heavy thunderstorms with them and a problem with tornadic activity. So there could be some damage, damaging winds out there caused in the rain bands alone. But I'm now going to show you here the warnings being put out on the system. Pegas in the top left, JMA in the top right, and JDWC down here towards the bottom. And noting the particular locations of landfalls, Pegasa actually takes us farther north than JMA and JWWC. I'm looking more towards what they're putting out here, actually, JWC, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor. They likely have a landfall farthest towards the south, and that's going to affect the Manila metro area more than any of these other ones, but given this little building of high pressure up towards the north, I think a more southerly landfall, even if it's only by about 50 to 80 kilometers, will make a very large difference. But continue to check back in on these warnings here. If you're in the Philippines, uh, definitely check in with Vegas, but also look at some of these other agencies, including JMA, because uh, the tracks do differ slightly. But also be advised if you are being issued any evacuations or even advised to evacuate, definitely do so. Definitely you never want to take any chances with these tropical systems, as they can always be uh, especially deadly. And especially with this one, the threat of mudslides and localized flooding seems especially high due to this moving over a mountainous area for one, but also with the heavy rainfall that we've already seen this tropical season across much of uh, Luzon. So please continue to check back in here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them, post them in the comment box below. Uh, always definitely appreciate any reports as well. So if you're out there in the Manila area and all across Luzon, please uh, kind of type in your reports of any heavy precipitation, thunderstorms, and not such. And as always, continue to stay safe and uh, don't take any chances out there and don't put yourself in any situations that could be dangerous. So stay safe out there, everyone, and uh, have a great day.